I say tomato, you say tomato, we both say soup. Today we're going to do some tomato soup. This is super easy, super delicious, roasted and mwah, full of flavor. What we're going to do is we're going to get some leeks. One leek, we're actually going to use two leeks but that's not the point. What you do is you get to cut it, you need to cut it at the bottom, cut it at the, in the middle, slice it down to have the stalk and the purpose to do that is to get rid of all the dirty elements within the individual leaves um, it has lots of sand in it so put all the leaves of the leeks on the tray set your oven to uh, broil at 450 degrees get that all preheated um, you're going to get to need that you're going to need mini bell peppers uh, for this size it's two leeks it is eight mini bell peppers cut them into quarters uh, what you then need to do is you need to um, just take out the tips of the uh, peppers and put it on top you're going to need four pannets of mini tomatoes cut them in half add um, black pepper, some salt, and then take olive oil and just sprinkle it around. Let's just get it mixing. We're then going to roast it uh, probably for about 30 minutes or so until it's like nice and golden and roasty looking. Um, and while we're doing this, get a pot three quarters of a gallon or three quart uh, in size of water, and we're going to bring that to a boil. So we're going to get three tablespoons of the vegetable broth. Let's just give it a good stir. Add in some basil leaves. For this, we do not use parchment paper because of the amount of juice. We need all the juice from the tray, from the veggies. And if we had the actual parchment paper, we would lose all that goodness. Time to take it off the stove and get it blended and zhuzhed. We're going to be using one of these blender thingies. Okay, so the soup is all ready. Wow, this is looking amazing. How is this for brilliant color? Let's check it out. Mm, this is delicious. If you want to add a little bit of salt or pepper for additional flavor, you can. That's all just up to you. But the way that it is, this is perfect for us. It's got the, the, the tomato. It's nice and acidic. It's got that great flavor of the different vegetables. Wow. So we have the croutons. They are looking fantastic. Let's try one of them out. Mmm. So you can see what they look like. They really are fantastic. I'm going to just add a couple of croutons into it. In the description below, I'm going to put a link into making croutons. Have a look at that. These are these croutons. Super easy. Substantially better than any store-bought croutons that you could possibly imagine. Mm. On a cool or cold night, looking for some soul food getting to warm your insides up this is the most amazing soup the soup the croutons the croutons have the, the the salt the pepper the garlic the olive oil all of that just adds additional flavor into the into the soup itself but either way with the soup and the croutons or even just the croutons on the side this is really amazing and with that Catch you guys on the next one.